And howdy folks! Managed to catch up with some hogs after a lengthy chase through a pasture and I got to them just before they got to the trees. Still using the same 6.8 as the night before and I still got the same Thermion XP50 on top. And I am also still utilizing the same 100 grain Nosler Acubons that I've been using for the last couple of months and they have been doing fantastic for me. So here I've got what I think is the Alpha Sow and I'm going to try to take a headshot on her and I'm going to freeze it here because I could do about a 10 minute presentation on why you don't take headshots on hogs that are feeding and facing towards you. You just end up swinging and missing, not hitting exactly where you want to quite a bit of the time. However, I think that I'm going to be different this time and it's going to look awesome on camera. Well, let's see how we did. I hit her well, and I thought she was down, so I had to pick up this hog, and that shot pretty much stunk. Swing and a miss. That one clipped. I've got my range now. I've got my lead figured out. There's the alpha. Put another round into her. One last adult takes a bullet, and now all I've got in front of me is piglets everywhere. <laughs> it's an ancient old proverb that uh, shooting at piglets is a great way to go from looking like a hero to looking like a zero in a matter of seconds. We're not going to do that today. However, I do see this little one over here that I might just try to see if I can take out. It starts running. So I just start scanning again, and now I'm actually going to try to lip squeak at it, see if I can just get it to stop long enough. It did, so I went ahead and put it down. As I scan back over, I see that alpha back up, and I think she falls over right at the same time that I took that shot and it wasn't needed. However, it's not bad to have a little bit of insurance. So I walked away with three adult hogs, two sows and a boar, that were all between 125 and 150 pounds and one piglet. It's okay, I'm getting rusty, or I was rusty, I'm getting back at it. And I'm also really still liking this 100 grain Acubon. If it got to the point where I had no other bullet to use in a 6.8, I'd probably be okay with that. And I'm gonna be pretty upset when I run out of this supply. But that was it for my evening. Hope that you all have a wonderful day.